Welcome back to another video. We're doing a how to change the speed on your Fulcrum Flex Medium, Large, or Mini. Doesn't even need to be a flex, it could be the regular. So first, your Fulcrum Flex might come with a tool that looks like this. This is very necessary, you need this. On the right side of your release, there will be this little screw hole right here. You're going to want to loosen it. We're going to loosen it out like a turn and a half, I think. Probably right. Then, we lift up the head of the release right here. And there will be a little screw hole right here. We're going to put the little tool right in it. And then we're going to lefty loosey makes it go colder. So it's slower. And then righty tighty makes it go faster now that you've got your speed to the right setting we're going to tighten the side screw up this what the side screw does is it's like this when we back that screw out it goes like this and then you're able to turn that screw up or down and that allows the head or the click to change for the speed and then when we're done we want to tighten that screw in so it keeps that one screw from moving and then check to make sure that this is the right speed for you on a shop trainer or with your hand or a piece of paracord doesn't matter and then I'll check the speed on this one Oh, this one's a little colder, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same thing that we did to that one, to this one. And this is the Quicksilver, so it's newer than the brass one, but everything is the exact same on it. Perfect. Now, like I said... We're going to tighten that screw in so this screw can't move. And if you're worried about this little side screw on the right, right here, moving, then there's another thing you can do is you can grab Allen wrenches. Here, let me grab them real quick. Um, and you can tighten it up with allen wrenches, so you can make sure it's actually cinched down. I'm not going to cinch it down too bad, because it is, like I said, going against threads of a screw. And if we back that one screw out too much, it might never come back in. So we're not going to tighten it up too much. We're just going to make sure it's not loose. And then you want to put that screw or the uh, tool back into the side of the release and keep arching stay in the middle like subscribe hit that notification bell peace